Welcome to this information video on Predictor version 10. Predictor version 10 is a modernized platform, increased performance and an improved graphical user interface experience and also two new calculation methods. Next I will show you some of the highlights on Predictor version 10. This is a town in the Netherlands. I'm going to show you the use of the web map service. Here you can add a web map service as a background. You have to provide the URL. There's a small list in Predictor version 10 of default URLs. This web map service provides the height in the Netherlands. I zoom out. Blue means a color, uh, a height under sea level. Green, yellow and orange are above sea level. Another option and uh, usage of web map service is the ground use. So here you see that green is forest, blue is water, um, orange or brown is built up areas, all provided online by a web map service. Another option is an aerial picture. So here you see an online available aerial picture. So this type of data in the near future will become more and more uh, available and it's already there in Predictor version 10. Okay, I'm going to remove the background. Now look now let's look at another new feature, the item selection bar at the right hand side. You can close it and open it opening it by clicking on the small handle. All items that you select are now also available as a list on the right hand side in the item selection bar. So here you see the selected items, etc. If I click also if I click on an item, you see the item selected at the right hand side. So now in combination with the search and select, it makes a very powerful option. For instance, all buildings with a height larger than let's say 70 meters now it's searching through the 70,000 buildings of this uh, model and it comes up with two buildings that are higher than 70 meters you can hold this selection if you double click it will zoom to the selected item you see that this item is higher than 70 meter look at the 3D view see that this is the item so, the item selection bar, especially in combination with the search, search and select, uh, makes it uh, uh, possible to quickly search through your model and find specific data. Another new feature are the, uh, the display profiles. So with the display settings you can choose which items to see and which colors they have and the style but now you can also save uh, your profile. So if you only want to see the roads, for instance, say hide all and I only want to see roads, and I call this profile only only roads, and save, apply. So now I've got a model, oh sorry, a display profile with only roads, and I can choose and reuse my profiles. So this is the default profile, showing all items with the standard colors, but I can now also sh show only the roads, or only the buildings, or the colors that I've been using so far. So, display profiles, reusable, very convenient. Then, list of item history. Model, list of item history. Here you see uh, the list with all items in the model with a uh, timestamp and you can sort on the list and you can see that I have changed this this item today 17th and I've changed it also if I change now for instance this item with another height say 9 meters and I go back to the list of item history you see that there are now two items changed um, and if I click on the item, it will zoom also to the item, this one and this one. So, this list of item history is also an easy tool 
uh, for tracking your changes uh, in the model. News also uh, the mouse context menu. Uh, well, of course, the mouse contact menu is not new, but now all options are giving either grayed out or active. Um, so, for instance, clip with polygon, create parallel items, merge polygons, simplify geometry, etc. So if I click on item, right mouse click, I can simplify the ge uh, geometry of the item, normal, and it will remove 55 points, for instance. So those options are now always available in the right mouse uh, menu, in the mouse context menu. Well, this concludes my video. Um, and I hope I've given you some idea of the new improvements in Predictor version 10. Thank you very much for your attention.